Is it the thingamabob that goes in the thingy? This is the watermajuker that goes in the uh, hoodalabocker. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, it's going to pump the uh, watermaj fluid to the uh, hoodalabocker. <laughs> and it's going to make it chooch down the road. So this goes in here like that. Oh, you don't even got to lube it up, huh? Oh, no, right we, don't, we don't lube in Missouri. Uh -huh. we, don't, we don't do that around here. So while you're working on that, I just want to mention to everybody that that mystery line that has been there since last summer that was never hooked to the fuel pump, and even Midas said, it's for nothing. They, they just set it on top. Well, we think it's got something to do with the EVAP system, and this new fuel pump now has a way to connect it in. So is going to go into the middle port of this new fuel pump and we will see if that happens to change performance or anything. Alrighty, well, tank is put back in there. Last step, fill it up with gas, see how she runs. Well ladies and gentlemen, she's been running for five minutes now. She's warm, 180 degrees. And as you can hear, absolutely no hesitation. Robert's in there revving it, revving it up. And there's absolutely no sound of a rough idle at all. I know you can only hear the music right now, but yeah. So, I mean, we cleared the codes. Uh, we're back to normal PSI on the fuel pressure. But unfortunately, we let it sit again for 15 minutes and it still had trouble starting, and now we let it sit for a half an hour. I'm gonna try it one more time. Just uh, test it out here. Yeah, it's still, and then it dies instantly, so. Uh, and that light just came back on. It wasn't on the first time, so service engine soon light is back on. We'll get the code reader and check that. But it does appear that we have not fixed any part of the startup issue. So, confirmed, we have a leaky injector or a faulty fuel regulator, pressure regulator, uh, and of course a leaky intake. So, <laughs> just, oh well. Uh, fuel pump is fixed, and catalytic converter is fixed. Okay. I think he's done messing around. Alright guys, good morning. It uh, it rained on us last night. Actually, we had thunderstorms and lightning and everything, so um, it's very saturated. Uh, might, I don't know what we're going to do today. No, exactly. I'm going to spend one more day here at Robert's place, but uh, I just wanted to say for the record, bear with me, I just woke up like 10 minutes ago, but I'm not deterred at all about the whole RV situation. Uh, as I mentioned, if all those fixes didn't do anything, I'm just going to move forward and make plans. So, um, been talking with Wayne down in Florida, and I had, oh, meow, I'd wanted to be down there this winter anyway. So, instead of cutting back west, I believe I'm going to start to kind of zigzag over here on the east coast to eventually get down to, uh, Florida probably by like November ish so, so two months from now or so is the plan so there's lots of cool stuff to see and, and do and I'm really excited about the road um, I have a lot of faith in the RV the roof uh, has not leaked at all so that is cool that is awesome uh, and as I said there's rain in the forecast today still well, Robert loaded up the, the quads, and we were thinking about going and doing some trails today. But that means I would have to dress very appropriately. No shorts or sleeveless shirt, rain gear, boots and stuff. And I don't know how I would film anything for you. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when everybody wakes up what the plan is here. Well, it's a foggy morning here. We're just inside Kansas. And we're gonna go find some trails to ride.
freaking blast out there, guys. It's been years, three or four, since I've been four-wheeling. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun, but it was also really wet because it just poured. And uh, so we've been cleaning up the bikes here, rinsing them off with the power pressure washer. The trailer still needs a good uh, wash there. <laughs> but yeah, I realized this last couple days have been really weird. Probably really weird to, to watch. Uh, but you know, you just have to understand um, I'm getting stuff knocked off on fixing the RV and, and keeping it on the road so that I can continue to, uh, well, create fun content for the world. So it just made more sense to kind of film some of the procedure of the fuel pump and then today's activity, which was a lot of fun. I guess it was a day off for me, but I still brought the GoPro out and got it pretty darn dirty out there. So um, and we all washed up while we were there. I got the water heater on right now. You can probably hear it getting ready to jump in, have a nice hot shower, and then we're gonna go out and uh, have some dinner here. Uh, yeah, anyway, just so you know, I am hoping to be back on the road to my normal uh, video vlogging type stuff in the very next video. Uh, just, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna go. So, got a lot of thinking and planning to do tonight. So, Get back with you later. We're here at the Jack Stack Barbecue Restaurant, everybody. Uh, some barbecue. And local brew right here in Kansas City from the Boulevard Brewery. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, guys. Chicken, ribs, beans, potatoes. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Jackson, I'll see you in a couple days from the road somewhere. Adios. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.